Uh, my name is Mishwarya Vardana, Brian Graham, James Krishnan, Fatik Nagwad, Emil Hawe Bolan, Andre Sushko, I'm Kamal, Arjun Agarwal, Sahir Rauf, and I'm now at CERN. I ended up at CERN because I won a special award at the Intel ISF 2011. Um, there were several special awards given and uh, there were judges from CERN who went around to projects of certain categories. They, I guess, looked at all the projects in physical science and then they selected about 50 to come and interview at the fair. From that group of kids, they chose the top 12 to come visit CERN, so that's how I got here. I think the better question is, what, like, what didn't we do? Of course, we attended a lot of lectures every day about antimatter, dark matter, dark energy, superconductivity, supersymmetry. We got to uh, meet with the experts in the different uh, the respective fields, whether it was security, whether it was the uh, computational processes involved in handling the great deal of data produced, uh, the people who were responsible for understanding the, the physics behind it, or uh, picking apart the data that comes out of the, the LHC and understanding what it might mean for physics. And besides sharing all this information, all this information have also learned a lot more about Switzerland and the community here of CERN. What I really learned was that it doesn't matter um, what language you speak, where you come from, it matters on how you synthesize what you know with what uh, your what the members of your experimental team know and to apply everything and work as a team to perform an experiment and ultimately to meet your goal. In fact, I spoke to one of the science experimental physicists that I was grouped with as part of this program and I asked him how are Monte Carlo's implemented into their research that they are doing and he discussed with me that when they're doing modeling or they need to get random processes, they use Monte Carlo methods in order to achieve this. The uh, coil itself, while I didn't get to see it, I mean the principal standing right next to a magnet here, um, the superconducting magnets both in the coil and detectors, so very fascinating technology. I got to go to the several different control rooms of these different detectors and I'm personally, I'm a big fan of CMS, that's my favorite detector. Just to see some of the technolog technological advancements that are going on here. I mean, it's not just that they're doing the experiments, but if you look at the experiments themselves, because I'm more interested in you know, the technology aspect of it than the physics part, because that stuff tends to go over my head sometimes. But just to see the kind of electronics and mechanical things that they're actually doing here, that's definitely something I'm going to take back.